In today's video tutorial, we are going to be using Python code to make ourselves this little Christmas graphic here of a Santa hat. We will be using the turtle module from Python to do that. It's fairly straightforward. It's simply made up of a white circle up here, a whole heap of white circles around the trimming on the hat, and a red triangle um, there for the main section of the hat. We've also got a blue circle as the background. Okay, so Fairly simple to create, so let's get started by heading over to the Python IDLE and making ourselves a new file. Once you've got a blank screen like so, we're going to start creating the shapes that we need to make our Santa hat. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write import turtle. That imports the turtle module. Okay, so that's basically code written by somebody else. So as we type our code in, it's going to save us um, writing a lot of extra lines of code. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to write up the code to draw a circle. Okay, so I'm going to make a function called draw circle. Okay, so what I've written here is define, basically. So DEF stands for define. And we're defining a function called draw circle. You can name this function whatever you want, but I'm going to leave it as draw circle as that's something meaningful. Then I'm going to open up a bracket and simply write what you see in that yellow tooltip there. So turtle, comma color, comma x, comma y, comma radius. They're all the values that we need to pass in a bit later on to create our circle. Okay, so things like the color of the circle, the x and y coordinates, how big the radius is going to be. We'll pass those values in very shortly and it will draw that circle on the page for us. Now once you've closed that bracket off on the end of that line, you need to put a colon in and that will start our function off. So when you press enter, you'll notice that your mouse cursor is now indented. Okay, and that just tells us that the code beneath this function now is everything that we need to draw this circle. Okay, so the first line of code that we're going to put into this is turtle.pen up. And then we, whoops, we open and close a bracket at the end. Okay, so what we're doing is accessing the turtle module. And inside that turtle module, we're going to access the pen up function. Now, there is more code behind this that somebody else has written, but we don't need to know it. Okay, we're going to keep it simple with just this little line of code. And what the pen up function does is basically, if you were drawing on paper, we'd take our pen up off the paper. So we can now move our pen around the page without actually drawing anything or any scribble across the page as we move around. Okay, what I'm going to do next is highlight turtle dot. And I'm going to copy that because we're going to be using that little section of code over and over again here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a color to use for the border of our shape. So we're going to write turtle.color and then in brackets we're going to write the word color. Just note that it is spelt the American way. And a little bit later on we add some more code in. We're actually going to pass in a color here such as red or white. Okay, and that will be the color of our circle. Coming in on the next line we're going to write in turtle.fillColor Okay, and we're going to write color again. So this time when we draw our shape, this is going to fill our shape in with a particular color. Okay, and again, that value will be passed in later on. On the next line, we're actually going to move our um, pen, or our turtle in this case, to a set of coordinates. So what we write is turtle.go to, and then x, comma, y. And again, we're going to pass in the value of X and Y a little bit later on when we add some more code. So our turtle will go to the specified X and Y values on the page. Once it's there, we are ready to start drawing our shape. So we can write turtle.pen down. So we can put our pen back down on the paper, ready for drawing. And before we start drawing, the last thing we need to do is just write turtle.begin underscore fill bracket bracket. Okay, and that will start filling in that color that we chose before. It'll start filling in the shape with that particular color. Okay, um, one other thing we should do is set the radius of the circle. Just remember that one. So we will set the size of the circle, how big we want it. So we can't start drawing it unless we know how big we want to draw it. Okay, and once we've actually drawn it, we'll just write turtle.end underscore fill bracket bracket. Okay, and that will just stop us filling in that shape color. And that's all you need to draw a circle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is press enter a couple of times and press backspace to move my cursor back to the left hand margin on the page. And we're going to define another function. If you look back at the example, the other shape we need, apart from a circle, 
is obviously a triangle. You can see that big red triangle there we use for the shape of the hat. So we'll define a function called draw underscore triangle. Remembering you can rename that to whatever you would like, but try and keep it something meaningful. So draw triangle um, is a good one there. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to copy and paste pretty much oh, all of this code. So we're going to need most of this code to draw a triangle as well. So I'm going to copy it by pressing Control C and then pasting it by pressing Control V. Now we're going to just tweak a few little bits and pieces here. So just watch carefully what I do. In this first line where it says define um, draw triangle, we leave in brackets turtle color X and Y, but we change the radius. Obviously a triangle doesn't have a radius, so we're just going to set a size instead. Okay, so change the word radius to size. Now we're going to leave turtle.pen up, so we lift our pen up off the page. We pick a border color, we pick a fill color. Uh, we move our turtle or our pen to the X and Y coordinates where we want to start drawing. We put our pen down on the page and we start to begin the fill. And this is where we need to add some more code. So I'm going to press enter a couple of times here to make a bit of a gap. Okay, so underneath begin fill, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little loop that draws our triangle. We were going to make, we're going to make an equilateral triangle, so all three sides are going to be the same size. So we're going to loop this code three times. Okay, so I'm going to write four I in range and then three in brackets and then put a colon at the end. What this basically says is we are making a loop, so we're going to repeat some code three times. Okay, and that code that we're going to repeat comes down on the next line, and you'll see that your mouse cursor is indented again, which is what we want. Okay, we need to see this mouse um, cursor indented, so we know what code is going inside this loop. So we're going to start off with turtle.forward, so we're going to move the turtle forward across the page a specific size. Okay, we're going to actually pass in that value, what that size is going to be, um, very shortly. Once we've moved forward a specific size, we're going to turn to the left 120 degrees. So just write 120 in brackets at the end there. Okay, and that's all you need to draw a triangle because after we've done these two lines of code, we've gone forward, we turn left 120 degrees, we come back to the start, and we repeat this code again. So we go forward a set size, then we turn left again 120 degrees, we loop back around here to the start, and we run that code one more time. And once we run it three times, we'll have all three sides of the triangle drawn. All right. Now, just bringing this code back up that we still had here, it says turtle.circle radius. We can delete that. Okay, obviously there's no circle or radius in this one, so just scrap that. Um, we've got turtle.end fill. You can leave that there. And the final uh, bit of code... Probably don't really need it, but just in case we need to add some more to our drawing later on, we're going to do turtle dot set heading and we'll put zero in brackets there. And that just tells us what way our turtle is facing or what direction it's heading in. So we're going to set it to zero degrees. It wouldn't really matter in this tutorial, but if we were to add some more um, shapes to our picture, then that would become important. All right, so that's all we need for this section. Um, of code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and Save As. I'm going to make a new folder. Um, I'll call this one Santa Hat. Can't really spell. Let me fix that up. There we go. And inside Santa Hat, I'm just going to call this Shapes. And click Save. Okay, so that's my first file. That's got all the shapes, uh, all the code needed to draw the shapes. What we're going to do now is make a second new file. Okay, and In this second new file, we're going to actually run all the code to draw that Santa hat onto our page. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to import a few modules here. We're going to write from turtle. So from the turtle module, we're going to import star. That means we're going to import everything from the turtle module. So all the code written by somebody else. We're then going to write from shapes. That's this document here that we just saved. So from the shapes document, we're going to import star. So we're going to import all that code from the shapes module we just wrote. And then the last one, we're going to write from random. That's another module somebody else has written for us. That's just a part of Python. We're going to import a specific function called rand 
int. That stands for random, oh, sorry, random integer. Okay, it's going to pick a number at random for us, and you'll see where that comes in handy very shortly. All right, so once we've imported all those modules, what we can do next is we're going to set the speed to which we draw our Santa hat. And we're going to set the speed zero, which is the quickest speed. All right. Coming in below that, we're going to set up a new window to draw in. So we'll write window equals turtle dot screen bracket bracket. Now be careful, you've got a capital S here on screen. And you've got those two brackets at the end. Um, the next thing we're going to do is just give our window a background color. So we'll write window whoops, dot bg color. And then in brackets, we're just going to make it white. So you can either write the word white, or you could use the hexadecimal code, which is hashtag FFFFFF. Close the quotation marks and close your bracket. I think it already pops up white by default, but we'll just write it in um, anyway, just so you know how to change the background color of your um, windows. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a hashtag, and we're going to create a comment. And we're just going to call this background circle. All right, so comments, if you're not aware, it's just plain English. These are things that aren't read by the computer. They're lines in your code, but that's pure English. Okay, the computer just skips over it when it's running the code. So a hashtag will start off a comment, and it will turn red as you write it. Okay, so the computer's just going to skip straight past that when it's reading the code. It's basically there to help us out and um, help somebody else reading your code to understand what's going on a bit clearer. Okay, so to create a background circle, what we're going to do is we're going to run that draw circle code that we created over here. So this function called draw circle. What we need to do is simply write draw circle and then pass in a few values. So we write turtle. We put in the color that we want the circle. Now you can choose any color. I'm going to actually use a hexadecimal code for mine. So if you know what hexadecimal values are all about, you can pick a hexadecimal uh, value for your color. I'm going to do hashtag 69D9FF. It's like a light blue color. I'll then put a comma outside the quotation marks. And I'm going to put in my X value, my Y value. So they're my coordinates. And then the radius, so the size of my circle. So the X value is going to be set to 0. The Y value is going to be minus 200. And then the size of my actual circle is a 200 pixel radius. I'll close my bra uh, bracket off there, and we now have the code that will draw a circle on the page. So I'm going to save this by going to File and Save As, and I'm going to give it the name Main, and then save it. You're now ready to run your code, so just go to Run and Run Module. I'll press F5 for a shortcut, and you'll see a window pop up with a white background, which we've already set, and a blue circle background as well. All right, so so far, so good. Coming in beneath that background circle, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a red triangle, which is the main part of the hat. So I'm going to put in another comment here, and I'll just write red part of the hat. And we're going to do a triangle for that, so we're going to call up this code here, this function that we've already written. Okay, so instead of writing all this code, all we need to write is this line here. So we write draw underscore triangle, and then in brackets, we put in the values we want for this triangle. So we write turtle, comma, red for our color, okay, minus 120 for the x value and minus 90 for the y value, and the size is 250 pixels. I'm going to press Control S to save, and then you can run that module and have a look. It should have a blue background and a red Santa hat now sitting on the page. Don't worry about this little arrow in the corner here. That's known as the turtle, which is actually drawing the images on the page for you. Okay, we'll make that disappear a little bit later on. All right, so we've got the red part of the hat drawn. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is the pom-pom on top. So I'm going to put in another comment called pom-pom. And I'm going to run the function again called draw circle. Now this time when I pass in the values, I'll write in turtle and the color will be white. Put a comma, x value is 5, y value is 110. And then the size is 20 pixels for the radius. Control S to save, run the module to test it, and see if you get a little white pom pom on top. Looking good. So I've just got the trimming to go around the hat here. So I'm going to put in a hashtag, a 
and write trimming. And I'm going to write in, actually, I'm not going to draw a circle. We want to draw multiple circles here, 12 in fact. So we're going to create a loop. Rather than calling up this draw circle function 12 times, bugger that, we're not going to write it 12 times. We're going to use a loop, which will really cut down the amount of code we have to write. So we're going to write in the x value, first of all, where we want this first little circle to start. So x will equal minus... 105. Then we're going to start the loop. So we're going to write 4i in range, and in brackets we're going to write 12. So we're going to draw 12 circles here. And we do a colon to start this for loop off. And you'll see that your mouse cursor indents again, just to show that the code that we're now going to write is part of this loop. So we're going to repeat this code 12 times. So the code we want to write is draw underscore circle. So we're calling up this function here, the draw circle function and what we're going to do is pass in the values white for the color x for the x value remember we set x to minus 105 that's where it's going to start so that's basically equal to minus 105 our y value will be minus 110 and the size of our circle will be 20 and we can close our bracket Last thing I'm going to do is when we draw the next circle, we want it to just shove over to the right a little bit. So we're going to write x equals, so the x coordinate is going to equal x, which is its current position, and then add on 20 pixels. So x equals x plus 20. So it takes its current position and adds 20 to it. Okay, and that ought to do it. So we'll draw a circle. We'll move to the right 20 pixels and we'll loop back around and run this code again. So we'll draw another circle, move to the right 20 pixels, come back around, draw it again, move to the right 20 pixels and so on. And that repeats 12 times. Okay, so let's have a look. We'll save that by pressing Control S and we'll run the module and see if that's working. There you go. So we put our Santa hat drawn. Remember that little um, arrow down here, which is the turtle that's drawing our shapes. I said we'd get rid of that before, so what I'm going to do is on the very last line of code, I'm going to press backspace so my mouse cursor goes back to the left-hand margin, and I'm simply going to write hide turtle, bracket, bracket, and that function will make your turtle disappear once your picture is drawn. Okay, so let's run it one last time just to see how our Santa hat looks finished. There you go. Alright, so save that up and you've now got a Santa hat drawn.